Vinny, we are so excited to be reunited on Zoom, especially after we hung out with you at the Shore Store just a few months back. How's yeah. it been? And I think I think our clip went a little viral or something. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. <laughs> Make one comment about Angelina's seventeen fiancés, and uh, next thing you know. Well, I mean, I'm like, do you guys kinda... watch? Do you guys watch the show? Because this is all we say and all I say. <laughs> But then you say it to like the New York Post and it's like, oh, my God, Vinny said she's on her seventh marriage. I'm like, if you watch the show, it's literally all I say in the, conf- in the interview. And also you said you said nicer things to her in the interview than you do on the show. Oh, yeah. I, I, was, I was a saint. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think that you you definitely have uh, your finger on the pulse, Vinny, because just a few short weeks later, you know, Vinny <laughs> is uh, scrubbed from the Instagram feed. Do you have any thoughts on kind of where they are in their relationship? Have you caught up with Angelina at all? How is she doing? You're not getting a thing out of me ah! this time, <laughs> babe. Okay. Um, no, nah, I, honestly, I, I don't, you know, I, I see as much as you just on Instagram. Um, you know, we don't, we don't hang out like that, but I, I'm assuming that you will see some things unravel on jersey shore okay. as always okay because i was shocked because i was a little shocked when it went from 2.0 to 2.0 when i was refreshing but you're saying that it were, were, were you shocked were you shocked <laughs> i mean you, you always want to hope for the best in love you know but that yeah. um it, it seems like oh my god i love the smiling you're doing right now you're like yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah i don't know I don't know. I honestly, to be honest with you, like this is like the politically correct answer. I I truly don't know. Mm-hmm. Like I don't, you know, like with her, it's 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 always a different story. You whatever is happening today won't be happening next week. <laughs> so there's nothing nothing to even comment on. Yeah. Now uh, it's it's funny. You and Angelina, I feel like you've always had a, a really interesting dynamic, and she was the first. Jersey Shore US person to do All-Star Shore. Now she is passing the baton to you and you are representing Jersey Shore on season two of All-Star Shore. Did she give you any advice, any tips, uh, let you know what to expect when you made your way to Columbia? She sort of did in a way. Um, You know, it was a new experience for me. So I kind of didn't know what I was getting into. I mean, I can't say that I, I called her up and said, can I get advice? But I'm glad that I got to watch her at least do one season of it to know what the show even was because there was no show before her. Um, And uh, yeah, she told me a little bit about the games you play and stuff like that. Uh, So yeah, it was, it was, you know, it was nice to have her, like I said, go through it once before. So it wasn't completely brand new. And you've been obviously doing reality TV for so long, but with kind of like your Jersey Shore family, how does it feel for you when you kind of get plucked out of that to go into a place where you're like, oh, I don't have history and a group chat and like connections with all these people. Like, does it make you excited or a little more apprehensive? Like, how is it like second you land with this whole new crew? This was particularly different. I mean, you know, I'm like on a new reality show every week at this point with uh, <laughs> Dancing with the Stars and The Mess Dancer and, you know, who knows, I'll be on like... Uh, you know, rollerblading with the stars next year, like in <laughs> Japan or something like that. Tuning uh, in for that. <laughs> not confirming that. I don't know if that even no. exists. But um, <laughs> this one was different just because it was like the first like party show. And um, I went into it and like they were calling me like the old guy. <laughs> and I'm so used to being the young guy on Jersey. Yeah. I'm the youngest guest member. Uh, well, Nicole is for a couple of weeks apart, but I'm the youngest guy. And um, I was like the old 35 year old on the show. And uh, that was definitely, definitely different. But, you know, this was it was a different show. So I kind of just adapt to whatever show I'm doing. It's not like this was like Jersey Shore with like a whole new other cast of Jersey Shore mm-hmm. people. I love that at 35, this cast was calling you the old guy. Did you feel like you were entering your daddy era? Your zaddy oh. era? Oh, I guess so. I mean, um, I've always felt like a zaddy, you know, but there's a different kind. Like, there's like a, a line where the zaddy thing crosses where it's like, 
cool, but then like you could be a young zaddy, but like I'm definitely getting into like I think like Uncle Vinny vibes. <laughs> you know what I mean? So hey, that's like, hot. That's hot too. Sounds like a delicious pizza place. Let me tell you that. Much. <laughs> <laughs> Extra sausage in that one. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, no, it was uh, it was interesting because I'm like, I'm 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 young and fun, but you know, definitely uh, it was a blast from the past. I mean, these kids party hard and like we did that as well we did that you know that's what made jersey shore so successful so they truly do continue this franchise all over the world and find kids that are really like no one's forcing them to party like they're they're the ones begging for the alcohol <laughs> like it, it's wild <laughs> i'm like at this point on jersey we're just like oh like let us go to sleep <laughs> you know on on that show these kids are like let's party i'm like do you guys sleep like it's it was crazy because <laughs> i love because you're health conscious you're a very health conscious boy you're probably like guys we need a solid eight hours and yeah. like a balanced breakfast because i do keep up to date with your instagram quite well you're always eating watermelon as well so i know you like to be very healthy yes uh they never breakfast? got hung over they never got hung really? over it, but i guess just, i i didn't either you know I, I keep saying this like it's an anomaly but we did the same thing in, on Jersey Shore. And when we went to Italy, we partied every single night of Italy. It was like the hangover lasted like 10 minutes in the morning. And then that was it. Damn. <laughs> what was it like going into this experience single? Because as, mm. as we see in the trailer, it seems like Melinda and Tamaris are feeling those Uncle Vinny vibes. You're yeah, in like a so love triangle. You are. The coolest part about this show, I feel, is that for the first time really ever, it put me, well, since I guess season one of Jersey Shore, it put me around things that I'm interested in. <laughs> <laughs> like like pretty girls? Like, yeah. <laughs> like, not, 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 not like, not like uh, you know, of course the women on my show are beautiful, but they're moms, they're married, they have kids, they're in a different place in their life. Um, so I've been the single guy just doing Jersey Shore that whole time. And now I'm, uh, you know, around young, single, beautiful women. I've been that, I've done that on my dating shows before, mm -hmm. like Double Shot at Love, but that's like a different, like touchy, emotional, going on dates, finding love. Like if you kiss somebody, it's the end of the world. Like, you know. This was just like shore house, hot girls party, see what happens. And uh, I, I pretty much, you know, I, I, I got, I, I gave uh, MTV their money's worth with that. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, do you? Okay, so I'm who like, has you, a you better? Gotta use, you got to use Zaddy for what he's good for. Oh, you know? amen. <laughs> like, who, wait, who do you think better utilized Zaddy, Melinda or Tamaris? Um, you're going to see that kind of unravel. Um, but you know, you definitely, well, who do you got? Like, did you guys see the trailer and stuff? So like, who do you guys see? There might've been a scene with me getting a little physical with Tamaris. Yes. I'm only saying, I'm only saying that because it's in the trailer. Right. And so because I see that physical chemistry, something tells me that you might lean a little bit more towards Tamaris. Blink if I'm uh, you're gonna have to find out. Oh, I'm gonna watch it. Do you think? Do you but think I definitely, was, I definitely was, I definitely was leaning towards her at one point. <laughs> oh wow! Oh, so okay, so we're leaning with it and rocking with it a few different ways. Okay, don't Wait, see. <laughs> did this kind of did this show then kind this of so you were saying what? Oh, because for so long you were saying you were like the single guy alone, but now you were just kind of in your fun dating, feeling yourself vibe. Is that are those vibes still carrying out for you now? Like, are you uh, kind of like seizing the storm? Like, I knew there's a lot of people saying they're having girl falls. Are you having a boy fall? Are we kind of like getting out there in a fun way? To be honest, like I feel like my boy days are coming to an end. Okay. Um, oh, out for the sorry, boy to, days. sorry to disappoint. I have plenty of stories for you that we, we could be here all day. That I have like uh, decades worth of stories. But um, I'm uh, yeah, I'm I'm I don't know. I'm kind of looking to to cozy up in the fall a little Aww. bit. But but when I say that, it doesn't mean it's gonna happen because that's like impossible. Why but is it impossible? Why? 
it is. It's like dating is trash and uh I don't know. It's just like we're just doomed as a society and uh there's no good people out there that I wanna wife up pretty much. Is, is there it, any I'm being very like facetious right now, but <laughs> is I'm it also really like, kind of like not lying. Is it tougher to date though when you are famous? Like, do you do you not feel the freedom to just get out there and go feral on the apps because you're worried that people just want to be with you because you're Vinny from Jersey Shore? Because in a, in a situation like All Star Shore, it's like you kind of all are in the same boat, so it might be easier to explore those connections versus like just you know connecting with someone on Hinge or Raya. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's why like I used to, like people kind of laugh at dating shows, but like in a way they kind of work, especially for celebrities because um, both people are kind of like in the same boat and they can kind of like relate to each other. And uh, it forces you to like spend more than one night with each other. Mm -hmm. so I think that's why, you know, I think that's why it, it worked out for Paulie on, on Double Shot because he was around this girl so much that, you know, he didn't get the chance to be around the girl that much when he's traveling every day DJing. Um, so yeah, so I, I advocate for like the show things and making meaningful connections with people. Um, and as far as the apps go and stuff, like I don't know, I'm 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 a like uh, let's see, like my standards are so high, I wouldn't date somebody that would date me. <laughs> okay, like, you, have to hide, you have to hold yourself to a higher standard then. Yeah, no, I, I, I that was that that was a funny meme I saw once, but basically it's like. I don't know. It's like the dating thing, Instagram. I used to love like girls with followers on Instagram and like all the selfies and oh my God, she's like has a blue check mark. And now I'm like, I kind of like low key people that are like normal and just like don't give a shit about Instagram and stuff like that. But then how are you going to find them? Because all I do is go on Instagram. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, there's so many. I mean, this year has like kind of been the year of celebrity divorces. I feel like every single uh actress or musician is now single so i don't know maybe some of them they have blue check marks but they have settled down before so you could you know if sophie turner or someone like that came around there's the the dating pool is opening up a lot is all i'm saying for you and sophie yeah. turner loves herself a, like a, a jersey a night in. those kind of yeah. boy <laughs> and i did she and does, she does. Yeah. i think uh we've heard that over the years a lot and, and that come that means a lot coming from me because i'm a huge game of thrones fan so um okay. but i I actually was also friends with Joe at a certain point, so that might be, get a little messy. Oh, wait, when were, what? When were you and Joe? You and Joe? <laughs> um, I hung out with him like in Vegas for one weekend, and um, I think this was in like the more of the off years of the Jonas Brothers before like Nick came and I feel like I feel like Nick really carried them to uh, a reboot. So before Nick did that, they were all just kind of like doing their own thing. And yeah, it was just like, I have friends that know Joe and um, we were just like partying. He's a good guy. Okay. So oh, then, and, so and, and what's his name? And Kevin's from Jersey. So I think he runs into like Snooki all the time. So. Okay. I love that. But I hate that now it would be awkward for you to date. <laughs> so. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I don't, like, like I said, I mean, everybody, we live in a weird world. Um, my 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 woman is walking around out there somewhere, just low key, no Instagram, no one's. I haven't discovered her yet. <laughs> Wait, and when you settle down, would you want to go from like Uncle Vinny to Dad Vinny? Like, do you want to like build all this, or do you want to just like ride the wave yeah. with like a chill girl? No, 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 no. If I if I I'm 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 from now on, if I am dating, it's with intention to start a family and to oh. get married and stuff. You know what I mean? It's not uh. Yeah. It's not to like play around and I don't know, like take pictures for Getty images, you know? <laughs> you want Christmas card pictures, pictures for the holidays, yes. Wait, speaking, speaking of dads, it's very sweet to see you and Mike help Angelina find her real dad on, you know, the current episodes of Jersey Shore. What was that experience like for you, especially as someone who I, the thing that I love about you and Mike and Angelina is that it's just such a roller coaster of emotions and feelings all the time. But at the end of the day, you are there to help her find her dad, which is, which is so sweet to see. Yeah, um, for me, like, you know, I think Mike took the reins on it, but, you know, um, whatever we do, we do together type of thing. And um, I was like Mike's assistant. Um, <laughs> it was 
it was kind of fascinating to see just the whole process happen where you can kind of just hire a woman, like a genealogist who could like find your family, like, 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 inst like quick, you know what I mean? Um, so I got to like, see that process happen. And me and Angelina and Mike, like we, we well, and like, us to argue with Angelina, but it's very like surface level. Like I'm not gonna like lose sleep over it. The girls when they fight with her, like it it runs for like years and years. Uh, I had no problem, you know, fighting with Angelina, telling like she's calling me a jerk off. I'm calling her a asshole, and the next thing you know, like we're finding her father. Yeah, <laughs> I love it. No, and she and the girls are really going through it on these yeah. episodes of Jersey Shore. They they can't even have a, a charcuterie board party in peace. I love that you guys. You guys watch the show. <laughs> yeah, yes! of course, you watch the yes, show. We do. Yeah, it's so good. I mean, what do you make of the the drama that the girls are going through right now? Do you ever feel Team Angelina or Team everyone else? I'd say, like, how do you maintain? I honestly, neutrality? I call it exactly how I see it, and I will tell, and 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 people they don't get offended when I give my opinion because, you know, first of all. I don't even care. So like, you know, so I don't have like a dog in the race. So like, if I give my opinion, I'm not like rooting for one way or the other. So I call it how I see it, you know, and, and there are times where um, I see that, like, maybe like I can see where Angelina is coming from. And then there are times where it's the opposite. So like for this current example, like Angelina, you know, she, she did go in there and, um, if she didn't want any smoke whatsoever with the girls, just just don't say anything at all. You know what I mean? But by you saying something, you're on camera, you're telling people, you're telling Mike, and next thing you know, you know it's going to get spread. So like she started it, Mike continued it. Um, then the girls, you know, it, it ha it's the same thing every time. It's like a little game of telephone, and um, everyone ends up getting their hands dirty at some point. Yeah. If you want to go back to like what actually starts it, like you know. For this one, I think it was Angelina. <laughs> I, I tweeted it. I said, I said she's be I said she's like she's kind of stirring it up a little bit by going there and um on camera to Mike. Kind of, you know, again, like you can totally have that opinion that the girl should have been there, but keep it to yourself if you don't want this trickling of effects to happen. I mean, something tells me that Angelina likes the smoke, whether she, whether she'll it, admit it's it all. Or not. And like Angelina and Mike really go back and back, accidentally making smoke happen. Because I'm thinking back to the season finale la or the like the finale last year with the whole Jay Wow situation and everything too. The smoke well, really Mike, appeared. Mike knows what he's doing. I feel like Angelina. It's like almost like she doesn't know what she's doing and and kind of gets herself into these things from. Um, I mean, what am I saying? She probably knows what she's doing too. But I think that Mike actually like kind of like secretly is like enjoying it, you know? <laughs> yeah. And then An Angelina is like <laughs> accidentally getting into the drama, accidentally getting into new engagements. You just never know what's going to happen <laughs> with Angelina. That's what I said when we started this combo. <laughs> well, to, to, to end this combo for Angelina moving forward in her romantic pursuits, do you have any advice for her? No. Um, no. <laughs> <laughs> zero she wouldn't listen anyway and um you know i just i truly do want the girl to be happy yeah. like you know no one wants this we're on the same show like no one wants to see each other like or you know keep going through stuff you know um but she's just gonna have to figure it out yeah well i'm glad that she has you by her side yes. to help her figure it out when uncle Vinny. And to bring it back, you know, just to end it on an all-star shore note, you know, she went on all-star shore and she was, uh, she was finding love there. She, she was. And I, <laughs> yeah, you know? that's a great point. So, you know, maybe there's a show for her out there where she can find some love. Uh, do you know it's amazing to see Angelina be on her own season of A Shot of Love? Can you imagine Angelina sort of like leaning into her Tila Tequila era? It would be great TV for sure. Um, I will gladly be the host of it. Oh, um, yeah, I can. I can. I, I also can need it. you to do confessionals too. I need you to host a confessional. All right, don't make too much work for me, but um, <laughs> I'll definitely I'll, I'll give what I can, but not in the capacity of what she's doing, you know. But um, <laughs> yeah, she's definitely. I don't know. Maybe there, my mom always said 
there's a lid for every pot. Okay. All she's right. Gotta find, she's got to find her lid. There you go. She's oh, on the lid. Yeah. <laughs> Before we wrap up completely, Vinny, uh, we just want to do a little wellness check on you. We know that you had to skip out on a Chip and Dale's show because of a family emergency. Just want to make sure that everything is okay. Yeah, yeah everything is okay. Um, I had some personal things that uh, someone was a little sick that I had to kind of be local for, but right. everything is okay. Thank God. And um, it's just like a lot of shows. So like, it's funny, like, you know, I do, I was there for a month doing six shows a weekend um sometimes stuff happens and you got to kind of you know but i can't just like call out sick like one of the other dancers because everyone's like what the hell is going on you know what i mean right. so uh yeah everything's cool good okay good. we're glad to hear that glad things are good thank you so much for taking the time to chat with us again Vinny. it was great to catch up you too good seeing you guys